What's going on guys? Welcome back to Spool Zone. So on today's video, we are back trying to fix the E90. I gotta do it guys, it's my daily driver. My research has led me towards it being the alternator. So even though the codes were about the footwell module, all the symptoms like the windshield wipers were going on by themselves the dash cluster started flickering it threw a transmission code and then the, the codes i did have for the dsc uh system the abs system uh just started disappearing and coming back on so it's all all that wacky electronics uh, i guess is like a response to the battery being low potentially and the battery could be low because the alternator is not generating the voltage that it needs to power the systems in the car. So what I'm going to do is use this multimeter to test it. So I'll put it on the car with it off and check what the voltage is. And then I'll start the car. And then if the alternator is working, that voltage should increase. If it's not, Hopefully I'll get this one uh, from this kid that parting out his car and he already agreed to give it to me for a pretty good price. So we'll get it off and run it. And here it is. At least it looks pretty. So definitely going to have to pop the hood. Then we'll get this multimeter set up and test it. So you got the wipers halfway because I just killed the car because it was steaming out from the coolant reservoir blowing. So the plan is instead of JB welding it because that's just a temporary solution. I'm obviously going to get a new tank, it's the only way to make it last. So uh, I called the local AutoZone, apparently they have one in stock. This is where I got to do a photo shoot. Ooh, did I just miss a 335? Bro, we're about to see that. So this is what it came in. So I don't know how exactly I'm gonna skate with this, but I'm gonna try and make it work. I am going to just take it out of the box and carry it like this. It's gonna be a lot easier, but this is it. So I got this little pick here. Well, we'll take the cap off, I guess, or at least loosen it. All right. There we go. What's that? Those lines out of the way. Let's see if I can get down here. Pop this clip. It's probably hard for you guys to see it. And I don't want to drop my tool, so. Popped it there. So, let's get these. Should be a 10. And see that freed it up. Some better lighting in there for you. So there's this little grommet that it pops into here. Try and get you a view. And you kind of pull it out of there. Yeah, you see it where the green is. And then at the bottom there, you can see the sensor. Straight ahead, right there. So I'm going to get that. Um, reach down in there. Gotta be careful with it. Maybe I can pull it up a little bit, get a better angle. And then the other spot, the other clip is down there. You can see it right 
I got the uh, sensor off here. Now I just gotta work on getting the lower hose off and we'll take it out. I dropped the back of my flashlight down into the bay, so that's wonderful. I'm gonna put this new tank in and uh, see how it works. Nice, yeah, it's got everything in there. Little float and everything. Okay, so let's do bottom hose first, then I'll hook up the sensor, then I'll hook up the top hose, and I'll bolt it down. So let's get at it. Well, that's it. The installation literally took like a minute and a half. I'll speed it up a little for you guys. <laughs> All right, so that takes care of that. Now let's get some mixed ready and uh, fill it up. You're also gonna wanna relocate the clip from the old coolant tank to the new one that uh, this clip just holds the little vacuum lines in got those back the top line um, goes to the right canister about how much coolant I put in so it was quite low you can see the float there let me get the light really now the light doesn't want to well you can see it in there but if it's up to the top here the red part and just kind of bouncing there it's like middle half it's almost to the top basically nothing Wonder if the battery's dead now. All right. Um, maybe let's check the voltage of the battery. Let's see what that's reading. 